Hey people, I'm Yash. So today I will show you how to disable user interaction. Uh, what do I really mean by disabling user interaction? Like uh, you are performing certain events and you don't want your user to spam on the screen. So let's take an example. Uh, you are fetching some data from JSON or passing an API and you want a user to wait uh, till you get the data and uh, does not keep on pressing a certain button or you know uh, you don't want an event to go on the loop so you can uh, disabling user interaction is just a two line code uh, but i will extend the code with along with activity indicator so let's get started open xcode project create a new xcode project uh, name it ignore event next save it wherever you want create okay so under storyboard we will first uh, drag and drop uh, one button and we will also need a label okay so button will be press me and the label will be zero okay we will be showing time over here so let's make it big centrally align center text will be way big let's get it to a color will be white and let's say background be black okay so let's just uh, connect this stuff to our view controller for press me we just need the action which will be pressed and it will be action uh, get type to be UI button and also connect this uh, label which will be display okay hit connect and so we are actually done with the storyboard part so let's hop over to view controller and so let's uh, get start coding first of all we need one variable called timer which will be of type timer and we need one more variable time which will be zero so what we will be doing is when a user presses the button we will first of all print uh, print and it will be clicked okay so yeah. let's get started so timer will be equal to timer dot scheduled event uh, and we need one with the selector okay so make sure you select the one with the selector Target will be self, selector will be the action which we will just create and let's name it uh, view controller dot uh, action user info is nil and uh, repeats will be definitely true and uh, let's create the action first function action and so under function it will be a simple thing we will be just uh, making timer plus equal to let's say one okay and uh, display dot text is equal to timer so I think we are done uh, we are good here so timer what's its time yes definitely time and uh, let's hit run and let me show you what do I mean so the app is running And uh, what we can do is we can do one more thing. We can reset time to zero when the user presses the button. Let's run it again. Okay. And uh, do me uh, do look at the console. Okay. So pressing it. Okay. Some problem. Let's check it out time display dot text is equal okay it should be time let's run again and the app is building so okay uh, I press here it gets clicked the timer starts now the user press again you user presses again user presses again you don't want this you want the timer to complete till 5 or some some sort of time okay that's what you want so you can do this with disabling user so let's get started 
so what we do now is let's keep this here and just type in this UI application dot share dot begin ignoring interaction events okay what this will do is now let's run the app again now what this will do is it will uh, stop the user interaction it will disable the whole touch screen so user cannot press again so see now we cannot press again so now what we will do is once the timer hits 5 we will stop the uh, we will uh, this uh, take the restriction off and set the timer to 0 again so let's do that so it's uh, pretty simple if time is equal equal to 5 what first we will uh, take off the that enable the interaction so shared dot uh, event it will be an ignoring interaction events okay so we are done over here and the time will be again zero and let's display the time again display dot text which will be time so guys we are done with the disabling interaction part over here uh, those who want to see how to use it along with the activity indicator may stop so it is disabled as you can see uh, no more click that print over the console but now okay it's one o'clock so we have some issue over here let's say okay uh, we forgot to stop the timer thing so we need to write timer dot invalidate that's the part that's the part okay and uh, my mac tells me time every hour so don't mind it's one over here that's why so no more clicked uh, in the console as you can see now as it hits five it gets to zero now i can click again and one more click is here so that's how you disable user interaction now let's do it with activity indicator let's create a variable indicator which will be of type uh, ui activity indicator view let's say yeah indicator view and under view did load let's assign some basic properties which will be indicator dot indicator style will be dot gray and uh, indicator dot hides when stopped will be true indicator dot center will be self dot view dot center and let's just add it to our sub view which will be view dot add sub view and it will be indicator and let's just uh, the only thing we need to do is we need to start uh, activity indicator when the user presses the button so it will be indicator dot start animating and once the time hits five we will just stop animating dot stop animating hit run so this is a cool feature to show that circle going on so the user knows that the screen is uh, disabled so yeah this is a cool feature to add uh, you can use this when you you are passing JSON or calling some data from the internet or doing some sort of stuff or you just want to mess with your user. So anyways, thank you guys. Keep watching.